We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So here we are with BBIG Stock, Vinco Ventures Inc. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the key support levels and resistance levels, as well as what's going on in the overall picture here of this chart. Now, BBIG pulled downwards today, and it was not the only stock pulling downwards in the middle of the day. The SPY did as well, but there's a detachment for the first time here between the two. And I definitely want to point that out where BBIG stayed stagnant and the SPY went higher. And our SPY bot at 1.15 p.m. sent us out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, call options were up 2 to 3x within an hour. And this is our new release that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down and you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected to the spy bot the qqq bot and joining the members receiving this clarity and edge within the volatility that you can obtain as well by joining once again the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator to maximize within the volatility so here we are with bbig stock pulling downwards and it hit a bottom here trying to bounce back up we're going to break it all down in today's video but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunity from the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So these are the two stocks I mentioned this morning. Both of them gave 10 to 15%, 15% plus, but one of them turned out to be a home run and that was MNTS. We caught this one in the pre-market as it was pulling downwards after having a big spike in the pre-market hours, pulling downwards towards the bell and consolidating, had a slight moment of a pullback after the bell. And from that moment forward, reversed into strength on 42 vision, we got that extra layer of confirmation with that bull indicator and it went for a highest point of 30% plus guys. We strive for opportunities like these every single day. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the discord. We look forward to having you join us and let's jump into these charts. So here we are with BBIG Stock Vinco Ventures Inc. sitting sideways after having a massive dip in the whole entire day now we're gonna talk about some key levels and what's going on here because i know a lot of people are excited about next week but at the end of the day and i've actually had this discussion with people in the comments down below in the videos if you want to share your thoughts down below you're more than welcome to if you disagree with me if you agree with me but at the end of the day yes we know about the options chain we know about everything going on but Will it really gamma squeeze if the chart continues going in this direction? That's the big question because at the end of the day, you still want to always look at the charts and what's going on in the bigger picture because data is just a piece, right? The gamma data, the options chain, all that stuff is just a piece of the bigger picture and the puzzle. And right now, the overall puzzle is showing downward trend. Now, when you zoom out though, in the bigger picture, this has been going up strong and holding above two dollars i know a lot of people get worried about a little bit of volatility here going from two dollars and seventy cents to three dollars and forty cents and back down and we broke through a key support level but in the bigger picture of things that is a very small significance right compared to what went on from here to three dollars and forty cents i mean this is just a small pullback but it's still something to be aware of and that's why we're going to talk about the zoomed in and also zoomed out on larger time frames. But I'm gonna pull up Ultimate 42 Vision, the Bowen Bear Indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 Vision Indicator, getting connected to the SPY bot, the QQQ bot, to receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down, and you can join the members using this resource to maximize within the volatility, receiving that edge and clarity that they deserve. Once again, the link is down below in the description. So BBIG stock has been pulling downwards, right? 
got that bear indicator, pulled downwards here, and for two days consecutively, it's been dipping. Now, we're gonna zoom out and look at this from the four hour and also the one day because the bigger picture tells us a story. The volatility here is immense on the 30 minute and I stated that these shifts have happened way too quick next to each other and shifting. But now this bear indicator has been dominating and this one up here has been dominating in the overall trend to the downside. So that's what we're going to break down here in today's video. These key levels that matter going into next week because next week is the big week that everyone has been talking about. The possible gamma squeeze, the options chain data and everything ramping up. But if this continues to feel the pressure to the downside or sit sideways, well, there is such thing as theta as well. Gamma is not the only thing that exists. Delta is not the only thing that exists. There's also something called theta, which is time, time decay. Okay, that's what it measures. So let's go ahead and look at this at the four hour here so we can pay attention. So the first exciting point here is the fact that on the four hour, it actually has a white with red borders. That's why I stated earlier in the video that this pullback is so small and less significant than the run from way down here to up here. Okay, from two to 340, then from 340 to 270. If you really think about it, it is still up from these levels, right? Even if it comes back down to 250, but the lower it goes, the more it damages the possibility of a run up or even hurt the whole entire setup of a possibility of a run up even happening, right? Or this so-called gamma squeeze that everyone's talking about. The thing is, this bull indicator got canceled out by this bear indicator up here at $3.05. And this is where it shows you that Ultimate 42 Vision is actually paying attention to specific levels that even when this came back up, we knew this was a fake out, especially when these transitions started to pop up here back towards dark green with red borders and continuation into red. And then here we are with red and white borders. So this is where it becomes important to watch this carefully and closely because BBIG right now, based off 42 vision is in a dip area or at least starting because every single time you hit white with red borders, eventually a pop back up happens, right? You get those reversal points and then some are stronger than others. Some are weaker. Now, this is the first time in weeks that we hit this level. Now, when you get that pop up and no bull indicator, those are the weaker ones. But when you get that bull indicator and that full reversal and transition into red with green borders, dark green and bright green, you will know and see the strength from the dip area to the rip area. And this is why next week I'm going to be watching 42 vision very, very closely, very carefully within the live action because we are hitting dip area. And if this decides to rip or go back around, we will see a transition into red with green borders, dark green, and a possible bull indicator on the way up to cancel out this bear indicator. That's going to be significant in the next coming days. Now, when you look at the one day though, it is continuing this transition downwards. Okay. Now within the shifts, we are seeing it continue with the dark green with red borders. If this shifts into a bear indicator by any chance, like it did here or quickly into a red bar followed by a bear indicator, it's going to cancel out this bull indicator and the overall direction is downwards. But if this reverses by any chance, like it did right here, right from dark green with red borders to dark green with green borders and goes back up, that's going to be significant and it could probably pull up the four hour with it and the 30 minutes. So the key levels I'm watching, well, it broke through a key support level here, 273. The low of the day was 263. If that gets broken through, the next level of support that I've talked about is 250. And then below 250 would be way down here at 230s. But that is way too far down to be looking at right now. So the first one is 263, 264 then 250 and to the upside, I want to see this get above 280 and get its way back up towards $3. I think that's going to be significant and a bull indicator in the transitions back up to cancel out this bear indicator to receive clarity within the charts. Check out the link down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator to get connected to the premium indicators, the spy bot, 
the QQQ bot and join the members using this resource to maximize within the volatility and have that edge within the charts and the clarity that it brings guys once again the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator and join the members maximizing within the volatility and you can as well we look forward to having you join us and as always thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some